come along My lonely days are over Pavel and Robin, Manfred and Dorothy, on behalf of your families, do you give your love, support and blessings to your children in their marriage? Thank you. Please be seated. Well, dear family and friends, on behalf of Daniel and Danielle, welcome. We are here to celebrate the marriage of two very special people. More than a ceremony, this is a significant moment of celebration and personal commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in their entirety as a lifelong companion and confidant. It is therefore a decision which is not entered into lightly, but with great consideration and respect. Daniel and Danielle, from this day forward you will become closer than ever before and in ways yet unknown to you. You will promise to love one another in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, Yet at the same time, your love for each other will give you the strength to stand apart and seek your unique destinies, encouraging each other's individual growth while helping each other achieve those goals that you share today and the many more that the future holds for you both. Friends, my name is Ron Gallagher. I'm a civil celebrant, duly authorised by the Commonwealth of Australia to conduct and solemnise this marriage according to the law. Daniel and Danielle, as your celebrant, I am to remind you of this serious and binding nature of the relationship you are now both choosing to enter. Marriage according to the law in Australia is the voluntary and lifelong union of a man and a woman, made to the exclusion of all others. Daniel and Danielle, do you declare before me and before your witnesses here present that you come here voluntarily and without reservation and that you are free by law to be married to each other today? Now, of course, many of us here know that marriage is much more than the promises made here today, the celebration that will soon follow, and the best wishes from us all here. It is not the law or sins of parchment that hold a couple together. It is the everyday loving and caring and daily recommitment to do your very best at being the very best husband and wife you can for each other. And if difficulties arise, as they sometimes do, then think back to this day, your promises to each other, and put your trust in your love for one another. Now, we all know why we are here today, but you may not be aware of what has brought us to this moment. So, Daniel and Danielle's permission, I would like to cover some of the background that has led up to this wonderful event, how it all began. Well, it all started back in the summer of 2006 at the palatial Parkdale Uniting Cricket Club through mutual friends. Danielle tells me her first impression of Daniel was that he was well and truly under the thumb of his then girlfriend. Whereas Daniel doesn't remember meeting until three weeks later at the Bell Naming Races, where he thought, where he thought, wow, great boobs. <laughs> What's with <me? laughs> Over the next few weeks, they saw each other at various events, but it wasn't until May 2009 that, after much persistence and stalking on Facebook, that Danielle finally succumbed to Dan's chance. Well, things obviously went well and continued to do so because in August 2011, Danielle finally moved into Danielle's unit. Now, there's a bit of a backstory to this because prior to moving in, rather than give Danielle a key to his unit, he installed a thumbprint system. Daniel's thinking was, and I quote, it's easier to delete you out of my house than to ask you for a key back. <laughs> yes, quite the charmer. <laughs> It was actually at Danielle's best friend's wedding that April, previous April, that he drunkenly told Danielle's father, Paul, that he wanted to marry his daughter. Paul was overwhelmed that Danielle had asked and responded with, good luck with that one, she's your problem now. <laughs> they first came into each other's lives 1,176 days ago. And now after 18 months of engagement, they stand before us here on their wedding day. Their bright future unfolds before them, one I know will continue for many years to come. Daniel and Danielle have declared before us all that they now will live and love together in marriage. In the traditional way, they have symbolised it by joining of hands, taking vows of lifetime commitment, 
and exchanging of precious rings. It therefore gives me great pleasure in declaring Daniel and Danielle, husband and wife, Daniel, you may now kiss your bride.